you support a ban on assault weapons? 100%. Okay, and can you define what an assault weapon is? It is a military-style weapon that is uh, that was originally designed to be used in the military, but is now designed to, I believe, just resemble some aspects of what they would use in the military. Telling to be completely reformed, so you can't just walk into a building with $130 and walk out with an AR-15. Listen, during the theater shooting in Colorado, I was able to go and buy an automatic weapon, and I, you know, maybe have shot a gun three, four times in my life. I don't even live in Colorado. I think most people can go out and buy an automatic weapon. You think that reinstating the uh, ban on assault weapons and banning high capacity magazines would do any good? Yes. Um, can you define, just sort of expound on what military style is? Military style, uh, so it would probably be made out of like a different material, like something black, and it would have maybe uh, more expressed features, like the trigger might be larger, or the, the pad that you rest here might be larger. Um, it could have like those rings around the barrel that like a normal like 12 gauge rifle would have, or a 12 gauge shotgun would have. I really, I think it's unfortunate that people have so, live with so much fear that they would think that they actually needed something like this to protect themselves. Oh, absolutely. Actually, I grew up in a household with guns. I was shooting skeet, you know, from the time I was 10, which are the little clay birds. I learned that like anything above what a shotgun would be if you're hunting is just not necessary. Come on. This is crazy. You can't certainly use this for hunting. But some of these bullets, as you saw, have an incendiary device on the tip of it, which is a heat-seeking device. So you don't shoot deer with a bullet that size. If you do, you could cook it at the same time. The gun show loophole, which means that you could avoid the instant background check through the internet or the or a, a gun show uh, and you could buy a gun. If you're in a situation where you need to carry a gun around to protect your, like that just seems like you, there's other avenues you can go. Like what? Like find a different area to live in. <laughs> and uh, hi, uh, you know, Jesus, God, I know so little about guns. I don't know what to call it. The magazine that holds a lot of freaking bullets and can fire them all at the same time. Anyway. <laughs> That thing used to be illegal. <laughs> okay. If a gunman comes in with an AK-45 uh, or an AR-15, how fast can that teacher go to the locked drawer and get that gun? Well, I want that teacher trained. You want that teacher trained? I mean, when the amendment was written, you could you had to like take 10 minutes to reload your musket, and that really couldn't damage 50 people in a few minutes. So. Yeah, I don't think those should be allowed. Don What is your definition of an automatic weapon? What is your definition of an automatic uh, weapon? Uh, well, for me, an automatic it's weapon is something that you can shoot yourself. off a, a number of rounds, a number of rounds very quickly. I was able to buy Done. an AR-15 within 20 is minutes a in a state Done. of which that I'm not a and You don't that I'm know not in all resident. due respect. You don't know what you're talking about. An automatic weapon is when you pull the trigger one time and it continually shoots off. One after another after another, a semi-automatic weapon. I can do that with my. A, I can do that with my AR-15. You're getting to, into you semantics can, here, just because it's not I am, semantic. Hang on, one Ben. Is let me finish. One is semi-automatic. Yes, let me finish, Ben. But listen, I think you are getting into s semantics. Like, if you're using it to hunt, then it doesn't make sense. Like an automatic gun, if you're shooting, I don't know, a deer. I don't hunt. I'm actually a vegetarian, but. It's not really like an efficient way to kill a deer. You're pretty much just making ground beef at that point. I think the NRA wants to sell an awful lot of guns, and I don't know how many will be enough. I don't think there will ever be enough. Uh... Everybody wants to preserve the right of uh, people that want to use guns for sport, hunting, or target practice to have the right to do so. But that doesn't mean you have an assault weapon. That doesn't mean you have a rifle that's advertised as able to bring down a commercial airliner at a mile and a half, or bullets that are designed to go through bullet-resistant vests. Those are very different things. Look, I don't have a problem with the Second Amendment. I think it's, I think it's fine. I think it was created for a reason, to protect from the British and you protect your house and things. Well, there's other ways to defend yourself or just be aware. I took a self-defense class last semester. Like The idea that you could have an open carry permit with an AK-47 over your shoulder walking up and down the aisles of a supermarket is just despicable. So I'm going to speak out. I'm going to do everything I can to rally people <coughs> against this pernicious 
corrupting influence of the NRA. And we're going to do whatever we can. I was proud when my husband took them out, and we were able to ban assault weapons, but he had to put a sunset on. So 10 years later, of course, you know, Bush wouldn't uh, agree to reinstate them. We've got to go after this. And here again, the Supreme Court is wrong on the Second Amendment. And I am going to make that case every chance I get. So I will need your help on that. I know people that, like, do it, like, illegally. And I don't feel like I don't feel safe all the time with them because they're tearing it for certain reasons for protection in that whole sense. So I feel like if it was just like banned or something, I feel like that would be fruitful in a way because it allow everyone to have an even playing field as opposed to having people that are able to and certain people that aren't. You know, yeah. but if, if people are, you know, you said that you know people who have to have do it legally. Yeah. So then the the ban doesn't stop them from it, right? It doesn't. Weapons with a barrel shroud would be regulated. What's a barrel shroud, and why should we regulate it? I think. I think the more important thing is that it also would have had banned the large capacity clips that right. Colin Ferguson had but used I, and also uh, the killer. Okay. But I, I read the, I read the legislation, I'm sorry, I read the legislation and it said that it would regulate barrel shrouds. What's a barrel shroud and why should we regulate that? The guns that were chosen back in, uh, in those days were basically the guns that most gangs and criminals were using to kill our, our police okay. officers. I'm not saying it was the best bill, but that okay. was the best do, bill do you they know could what get a barrel out shroud at that particular is? time. I actually don't know what a barrel oh, shroud okay, is. I think it's, it's, in it's your a shoulder thing that goes up. The other very important part of this bill is to ban large capacity ammunition feeding devices, those that hold over 10 rounds. We have federal regulations and state laws that prohibit hunting ducks with more than three rounds, and yet it's legal to hunt humans. And yet it's legal to hunt humans. It's legal to hunt humans. These magazine clips. I will tell you, these, these, this is, these are um, ammunition. They're bullets. So the people who have those now, they're going to shoot them. And so if you ban, if you ban them in the future, the number of these high capacity magazines is going to decrease dramatically over time because the bullets will have been shot and there won't be any more available. Those who support the bill say even an unloaded gun is still dangerous. There's been a lot of people that have been shot by an unloaded gun. Isn't it pretty hard to define what is an assault weapon? Because it's so easy to write around for manufacturers to create weapons that... Well, if it can fire a lot of bullets very quickly, that's a good definite, good place to start, okay? And, and then you would can say... argue what a lot is. Okay, let's pick it. Let's say three. If you haven't hit the deer with three shots, you're a pretty lousy shot. That deer deserves to get away. Let's get serious here. But that would ban most pistols. That would ban most... No, but pistols are different. You have to pull the trigger each time. An assault weapon, you basically hold it, goes... It goes... People have mental health issues where we're all super stressed. I don't think that it's necessary to have guns in those classrooms in such a, like... Well, how uncomfortable would you feel if a, a shooter comes to your classroom and you're sitting there like, oh my god, I have this wooden desk? Well, I would hope that there are, you know, security, campus security. I don't know if you've ever seen any of these shootings that go on, but usually it takes a few minutes and by then there's a body count. Okay. I, you don't want anyone in there to have the ability to be able to maybe take that guy out? I mean, if that was, I would rather security handle it, if that's the case. Campus but, security? Yes. They're not or, highly trained. Or cops. I'd rather be, we go into a lockdown situation. Why we cops only? Because you, you, you think cops are highly trained? You know, I, I don't know the statistics. statistics. When it comes to criminal background checks, we should give the process the time it needs. The background check system shouldn't be pass-fail. A background check should be a pass-fail with no exceptions. This is a ghost gun. This right here has ability with a 30 caliber clip to disperse with 30 bullets within half a second. 30 magazine clip in half a second. Semi-automatic weapons are not just about gun control, this is about national security. You know that these weapons can shoot down airplanes, <clears throat> they can blow up a, a railroad. The argument that like if we make guns illegal then only criminals are going to have them is kind of uh, BS. <laughs> I, it, it's just not, I don't think it's a very strong argument. Like. I don't know. Honestly, I don't. I don't really. I'm, I'm not really. Like, why? Why do you think they they would be, wouldn't be encouraged by not knowing that people have guns? Why do you think it's not a strong argument? Well, I feel like um, if people, people, people can like. Oh my god. <laughs> um, 
Hmm. I don't know. How do you, how do I want to, how do I word this? <laughs> There's been a lot of people that have been shot by an unloaded gun. I think it was just a better way to either like impose a ban where it shouldn't be like automatic. Like I feel like a difference between automatic and like handguns. Mm -hmm. Like people having regular handguns, it's like you got to reload and stuff like that. But with people that have automatic guns, there's no need to reload. You can shoot 30 people, you have aim, you can kill those 30 people. But if you have like eight shots and you're not very really good, I mean, yeah. You know, we're going to have to do a better job protecting the vast majority of our citizens, including our children, right. from that very, very, very small group that is unfortunately prone to violence and now with automatic weapons um, can wreak so much more violence uh, than they ever could have before. <laughs>